Welcome to the channel. Today we're looking at the Jack Wolf Knives Gunslinger Jack V2. I still have my original Gunslinger Jack. Definitely a stunning, stunning looking knife. And these were very popular, sold out pretty darn quickly. And a lot of people were bummed out that they didn't get a chance to pick one up. Well, now's your chance. These will go live at dealers on the 15th at 11 a.m. Pacific Time, 2 p.m. Eastern Time. So if you click on my links below and it says sold out and it's not the 15th yet, then obviously they haven't dropped yet. Some people either just don't listen or they don't watch, one of the two. With this drop, there's going to be six different variations, tons of different options to choose from. My particular version has the Nebula Fat Carbon Covers. I love that colorway right there. And if you're not into inlays or you're not into this one, there's several different inlay options. There's no inlays with texture. There's coated, non-coated. There's hand satin blades. Like I said, tons of options for you. I like the overall size of this one. It's coming in at 7.35 inches long with a 3.23 inch clip point blade of CPM S 90 V steel Rockwell 260 to 61 HRC and it has a full height deep deep hollow grind that comes down nice and thin this thing is a slicing machine if you want to see how slicey this is go check out my original review on version one it's, it's the same exact grind and it's just as slicey my particular one with the Nebula Fat Carbon has a machine ground vertical satin. I think it looks nice. It's nice and even. They also have hand rub satin versions also. You do have some jimping right there. You can use it, but it's more suited for the front flipper on this knife. Got a nice top swedge with a needle-like tip right there. Excellent for piercing. You definitely want to be careful. You're not going to want to jam that into anything and do any side-to-side -side motion with the knife. It has a good sharpening toil that should give you a good bit of sharpening life before it'll start to widen in the back right here. And if it ever did, you could easily open that up yourself. You have dual fullers or long pulls on both sides that can be used for deployment. Like I said earlier, a front flipper and the fullers. You can easily reverse flick the knife off those fullers. You can also thumb flick it. You can slow roll it. Or if you want to be a little bit more discreet, you could always pinch it open. Then that front flipper, it's got good jimping there, grips hold of the finger. You can do the reach around or you can do the traditional front flip, whatever you want to do. My preferred means is that reverse flick. It's nice and snappy. Now it's not a complete drop shut knife, but I will say that this one wasn't super smooth when I first got it, but they break in very nicely. Over time, they get smoother and smoother. I'd rather have a well-dialed detent with a little bit more lock bar pressure than a, a drop shut knife. That's just me personally. Now, so the handle of this one, you have double-ended bolsters, triple fluted on this side, single flute on this side, nice gentle contouring on the scales, a dark blasted finish on the titanium, a polished titanium Torx T10 pivot, T8 on the cover screws, full length blue anodized titanium backspacer that is flush with the scales. You have tons of facets in the back right there. I like that. There's no sharp spots where you don't want them to be. This one does come with a milled titanium pocket clip. Or if you want it to have more of a traditional look, you can remove the pocket clip and it comes with a blue filler tab. This is considered a bolster lock, just meaning that the lock is in the bolster right there. It does have a hardened stainless steel lock insert with an over travel, but the carbon fiber also acts as an over travel. The pocket clip works good. There's not a ton of ramp underneath there, so if you have thick pants, you may have to give it a little pull. It goes fine in all my jeans, but if, like I said, if you have thick seams, then it may not be as easy. It sits pretty darn deep in the pocket. All you have is this little bit sticking up. It is tip up, right hand carry only. Lock up on my knife, I'd say it's sitting at around 50% or so. And the access to the lock bar, even though it's flush with the scales, you do have a chamfer on both sides of that tie. So I can't get my finger in there. It's not hard or anything. Uh, would I like it to be a little bit better? Yeah, but I'm, I'm not going to complain about it. It's not a big deal to me since I can get my thumb in there. Or I can use the fat part of my thumb to disengage as well. The lockup on my knife, bank vault. This thing has a super tight lockup on it. 
Love seeing that. Now for some quick size comparisons, we have the Jack Wolf Benny's clip, which is a little bit smaller. And we have the slip joint version of the Gunslinger. This is the Sharpshooter, which is a good bit shorter. Here it is next to the Ontario Rat 1 and 2. I'd say it's more similar to the Rat 2. And lastly, it's about identical in length to the Hogue Deca, and it's a little bit larger than the Spyderco Power 3. Now for my nitpicks complaints, I only have one, and it's a very minor nitpick. And it's hard to even see that, but my blade's a hair off centered to the right. I have not even tried to adjust it. That's why I say it's just a very minor nitpick. I'm sure I could probably adjust that out. And, I mean, I can barely, I can barely even see that. It might not even, yeah, it's a little bit. I mean, a hair. But I had to be nitpicky there because this is a well-dialed knife here. I think it's very attractive. You're getting some very premium materials, excellent tolerances, and a knife that should last you a lifetime, and you should better hand it down to your kids. And not to mention it being a super, super slicey blade. What's there not to love here? I'm sure these will probably sell out just as quick as the last ones, being that they have other cover options and different blade finishes, different titanium finishes a lot of awesome to choose from if i was buying another one i'm not even sure which one i'd buy because there's so many nice ones to look at so there you go i'll try to leave a community post reminder whenever these do drop so if there's a certain one that you are interested in you could pick it up now like i said earlier this is a premium knife with a premium price tag these come at 350 dollars i understand that's out of some people's budgets but i do like to at least show it to you just in case you were interested and if you have any questions in particular, feel free to ask me down in the comments. I'll do my best to answer you. And I hope everybody's having an absolute, absolute amazing day. I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.